And that's certainly an important thing to do. But I also, I was thinking about the word practice in other things um, from the presentation on dance yesterday uh, and on yoga. And I think the word practice gets used in yoga to mean something very different. The word practice gets used in dance to mean something very different. I think it's closer to maybe the way practice gets used in, in, in Buddhism comes to my mind too since it's oh, uh, Ohigan this weekend, right? Um, and your practice is the doing of it, all of it. It's not preparing for something, it's doing it. So the thing I thought about this morning when we were practicing uh, improvisation uh, in the, the event was that I was, I was learning things as we did it. I wasn't learning them because somebody was teaching them to me. No one told me the things that I learned. But I learned them just the same. And I, I thought, you know, I learned a lot of things, actually. But one of the things I really learned, maybe not for the first time, but in a new, deeper, really fantastic way was what the voice is capable of. We were all playing instruments, uh, but then, you know, you made this vocal sound, uh, and, this <sighs> and it was uh, spectacular. It changed the event. It made us all think differently about what we were doing, or at least it made me think differently about what I was doing. Uh, it prompted um, Daisuke and you to do a, a piece together with Lee as well with it was vocal and Professor Wakao joined in and that really was it was like a different thing and I hadn't I learned that in the moment and this is what I mean when I say uh, informal learning and when I talk about lifelong learning the idea that improvisation is a practice through which as you do it you are always constantly learning で、あの、インフォーマルラーニングというのは、例えば the last thing that is on my mind as a, a central area of interest right now is, well, the mind. Uh, and by this I mean things like well, both the psyche and conception, conceptualization or um, thought, um, consciousness, a lot of words, all of which talk about that, right? Um, the practices that I talked about before, yoga, for instance, dance, another one, uh, suggest the importance of mindfulness as a state of being, paying attention to things, um, and being aware of yourself, of the world, of your breath, of your body, of your place in relation to others, all of these things. Uh, 
取っていただきたいと思いますでこれは、えー、実際にその頭だけのことではなくて例えばヨガとか舞踊の中では、えー、いわゆるそのな何かにこう注意深く注意を向けるという状態も、えー、一つの、えー、血の血を高める状態血を高める作業であるというふうに感じています。Um. For me, the use of mind and thinking about mind and mindfulness、uh, is useful because it allows me to move in my thinking from just thinking about improvisation as a kind of limited practice to creativity、uh, as the thing that I think we're really talking about when we talk about musical improvisation. We're talking about musical creation and musical creativity.、Um, and I think when I think about Music in that way, when I think about my research in relation to that, two things are sort of centrally important. The first is that musical creativity, I think, is in fact a practice or an art of listening,、um, as much as it's an art or a practice of playing, of doing. It's about awareness, mindfulness, hearing, paying attention. And the second thing is that it's an art of memory. It's about uh, uh, placing. My mind or the artist's mind、uh, in action so as to remember things and to be aware of things so as to be able to sort of intersect and interact with them. So, 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 と、えー、もう一つ目は、えー、と記憶の芸術としての音楽創造ということが言えると思います。Uh, at risk of belaboring our, my discussion of this morning's、uh, practice of improvisation,、uh, I did think also about this as I reflected on what we did, and I thought about a moment where、uh, I was playing something、uh, with, with Mano that I maybe that hadn't happened before. And, I had to both engage my memory and my ear in order to make it happen. I was playing organ. We hadn't played a lot of real jazz or blues sounding things that, so far. I mean, things have been much more、um, abstract, I guess.、Uh, but I played something that sounded more jazz like, and Mano came over and started playing, and this was a lot of, everyone was playing at the time,、uh, and played in a kind of dialogue, a real jazzy kind of thing. And, As that happened, both I, I noticed and heard, I had to listen, but I also remembered a conversation we had that night before. And I remembered his background as a saxophonist and his interests as a saxophonist, and I became engaged. I became interactive more than musically, I think, but socially, personally. <laughs> えー、自分はオルガンを弾いていましたでオルガンを弾いている時にその即興しながら先ほど言ったその聴取と記憶という2つのものがありますけれども私はその、えー、全体の音も聞きながらマノさんがこう近づいてきた時のサックスの音も聞きながら、えー、自分の記憶を使ったりまたはその時に聞いた直前に聞いた音を記憶しながら、えー、自分の即興の表現をしていたわけです。ですから、えー、その時にその聞くとか記憶と単体ではなくてそれが社会的に結びついているお互いに結びついているということを体験しました。So these are the three things that interest me and I want to just say I want to make a, a draw a graph that will help explain why I think these three things are really useful and they have to do with the way that I think studying musical improvisation allows us to move from level to level to level to level from the Most minute and concrete to the largest. So, to me, you can think, I think you can think of the performing. Event or the performing experience, the improvising experience,、uh, as a set of nested or concentric circles in the center is the self, 
ここに事故というものがあるんですね。Me, right? You, the performer. 私とか。